Fuck the damn, bro. <laughs> what it do, bruh? Talk of the town, Nintendo. Doc Trey still holding it down. Still make the best games. And you know this, bro. It's the truth. If you don't like it, you can have that seat, bro. Alright, so I recorded this long video only to find that my mic wasn't set to the default and it recorded nada. So, take two. Just like the Switch 2. But, first things first, we are still on the road to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, if you're interested in the Nintendo Switch 2, you like getting some intelligent insight on the Switch 2 or... A lot of times information before everyone else is getting it and you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, if you like the video thumbs it up and also leave a comment and let me know what you think in the comment section so Nvidia has finally confirmed what we all know that they are behind the technology powering the Nintendo Switch 2 and I knew that this was coming sooner rather than later because a few months ago, I noticed that the blog post that they made when the Switch was first announced and they were announced as partner and they did a, they had a blog post about it, that that post mysteriously is, is missing. Like it's gone. Like it's, you can't even find it. Like. The, the link is still there, but it takes you to nothing. So I was like, yeah, they're, they're one, they're about to show the system soon. And two, uh, they're about to say something about it. And so Nintendo showed off the Nintendo Switch 2 and its games yesterday. And now NVIDIA is finally ready to say something. Now, it's pretty interesting because here they confirm a lot of the leaks and a lot of the rumors. So it says Nintendo Switch 2 leveled up with Nvidia AI powered DLSS and 4K gaming. So here they're confirming that the Nintendo Switch 2 does in fact have DLSS, something that I was the first really to discover about the Nintendo Switch 2. Wow, almost five years ago now. So it's good to have that confirmation because a lot of people, based on the games that they were showing yesterday, were still in disbelief that there would actually be DLSS uh, support with these games. Because what they've shown so far, people are assuming that there's no DLSS. Um, but you got to remember, these games are still in development and even has a disclaimer at the bottom of a lot of these. These do, does not... Um, show you the final footage this is not indicative of of the final game uh and that's just that especially when it comes to games that are in development a lot of times the playable builds at these events are not even the current builds so these games can actually look way better than and perform better than they already are now uh for example another candidate for dlss in my opinion would be cyberpunk and that game looks pretty damn good on the switch 2 already and apparently that is based on a build that's only seven weeks old like it says that they ported this that that's a playable build on the nintendo switch 2 that is only based on seven weeks of work so that's <laughs> that's very impressive because it looks way better than the PlayStation 4 version. And it's a port of the PS5 version because uh, that DLS, that uh, DLC um, apparently was not capable of running on the, uh, the, the last gen version. So that's pretty impressive. So now they say the Nintendo Switch 2 unveiled April 2nd yesterday takes performance to the next level powered by a custom NVIDIA 8 nanometer processor. No, it doesn't say in 8 nanometers, but we know it is. Featuring an NVIDIA GPU with dedicated ray tracing cores and tensor cores for stunning visuals and AI-driven enhancements. With 1,000 engineer years of effort across every element. Now, they said something similar uh, in, in terms of the engineering years uh, claim with the original Switch. I can't remember 
what the number was. It might have been 500. I don't know. I think this is a significantly more. I got to go back and see if I can find it. But I, I, I believe this is way more than the original Switch. It says, from system and chip design to a custom GPU, application, program interfaces, APIs, and world-class development tools, the Nintendo Switch brings major upgrades. The new console enables up to 4K gaming and TV mode and up to 120 frames per second at 1080p in handheld mode. Nintendo Switch 2 also supports high, high dynamic range, HDR. Uh, it supports um, HDR10. It's not Dolby Vision, but that's... I mean, that's to be expected. Uh, expect Nintendo to want to play the licensing fee for uh, Dolby Vision. I mean, uh, Sony's not even playing, paying it. Uh, and AI upscaling to sharpen visuals and smooth gameplay. It says AI and ray tracing for next level visuals. The new RT cores bring real-time ray tracing, delivering lifelike lighting, reflections, and shadows for more immersive worlds. Tensor cores power AI-driven features like uh, deep learning super sampling, DLSS, boosting resolution for sharper visuals without sacrificing image quality. Tensor cores also enable AI-powered face tracking and background removal and video chat use cases enhancing social gaming and streaming. So this part is interesting here because if you guys remember what they showed with their new uh, Discord-like video chat feature, you had where in, in the camera, you had the camera that it only showed the person's uh, face and body it removed their um, the, their background. And also it said that the um, microphone could cancel out background noise. It appears they're using the tensor cores of the Tegra T239 to enable this uh, these things to to happen. Now, it says, with millions of players worldwide, the Nintendo Switch has become a gaming powerhouse and home to Nintendo's storied franchises. It's hybrid design, uh, redefined console gaming, bridging TV and handheld play. Now, here's where here's the most interesting part of this blog post. So it says more power, smoother gameplay. It says with 10 times. The graphics performance of the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch 2 delivers smoother gameplay and sharper visuals. Tensor cores boost AI power graphics while keeping power consumption efficient. Uh, RT cores enhance in-game realism with dynamic lighting and natural reflections. Variable refresh rate uh, via NVIDIA G-Sync in handheld mode ensures ultra-smooth, tear-free gameplay. So... Um, the Switch 2 utilizes NVIDIA's patented uh, G-Sync for its variable refresh rate, at least during in, in handheld mode. Said so tools for developers, upgrades for players, developers get improved game engines, better physics, and optimized APIs for faster and more efficient game creation. Powered by NVIDIA technologies, Nintendo Switch 2 delivers for both players and developers. Now, like Nintendo... NVIDIA here has not really disclosed the performance numbers in terms of, you know, oh, the Switch 2 is going to do such and such teraflops. The Switch 2 is uh, CPU is clocked at this. The GPU is clocked at that. But they did give us one important thing there. They said that the Switch 2 offers... 10 times the graphics performance of the Nintendo Switch. Now, the Nintendo Switch, we know the clock speeds of the, of the Nintendo Switch. We know the performance of the Nintendo Switch. So, because they've told us how much more powerful it is than the Nintendo Switch, we can figure out just how powerful the Switch 2 is. So, since they are stating here that the Switch 2 offers 10 times the GPU performance of the, of the Nintendo Switch. We're able to figure out just how many teraflops or roughly how many teraflops the Switch 2 can do. Now, the original Switch in docked mode does a little bit over 300 gigaflops. So 10 times 300, 10 times 300 gigaflops is three teraflops. So... 
That's NVIDIA's way of confirming to you that the Switch 2 indeed does a little bit over three teraflops. And like I said in my, my video that I made a few months ago about uh, how powerful the Switch 2 will be, that is pretty much exactly at the most that I believe that you could have expected out of this system. It's going to be a three plus teraflop machine and that's more than enough to dog walk the steam deck <laughs> so anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments